Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to calibrate the 31054 load scale. This is for a um, tandem axle. Uh, we have them for single and we have them for triaxle, but this is for tandem. And the first thing you'll do is you'll take your loaded uh, trailer, a truck and trailer, through a CAT scale and you'll get the different weights for the steer, the drive, and the trailer. Um, this could be connected to your truck. In that case, you'd use the drive axle weight. If it's connected to your trailer, you'd use the trailer axle weight. So we'll just say that this is on our trailer. Uh, we just went through the CAT scale and we got our CAT scale ticket. Um, we're on flat level ground. You can stay on the scale if they'll let you, otherwise pull off and find a nice uh, flat level ground um, to calibrate on. Uh, turn off the trailer brakes. And it's, it's always best to, you just gotta remember that you wanna weigh and calibrate in the same conditions, you know, so, um, I think it's a good idea to let some air out of the suspension. If you have a dump valve, just hit the dump valve for a few seconds and then let it air back up. And that way we always know it's coming up from the same place, you know, whether you're weighing or calibrating. So, so dump some air, let it refill. And then when you pull out the red knob here, uh, the gauge will come up and it'll say, you know, how much weight you've got on there. So right now we're sitting at uh, 31, 31,000 and some change and our cat scale ticket says 33,100. So all we'll do after the suspension's all uh, evened out, you know, it's not moving anymore, uh, we'll just turn this screw until it says 33, we'll just give it a little extra. So that's about 33,100. Okay, and that's it. So it's all calibrated. Now, um, same thing if you want to, you know, use the gauge, let's say you got another load, you know, you, same thing, you come out here, flat level ground, dump some air out of the suspension, let it refill, pull the valve out, and it'll come up and show you what weight you've got on your trailer. What you don't want to do is calibrate it empty. Um, it won't be accurate, any, you know, down in this zone, it's not, it's not accurate. So you just want to calibrate it for the loads you typically carry, fully loaded trailer, fully loaded truck, axle, um, and you'll be good to go.